Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week, I'm kind of excited. We're going to do something a little different, but also kind of what a few of you have been asking me for lately. We are going to be going around and giving all of my lizards black soldier fly larva. These black soldier fly larva were sent to me for free by Grub Terra. They did not pay me to make this video at all. I was actually really excited when I got an email from them asking if I would be willing to just review their black soldier fly larva because my best friend sent me a TikTok of them a few weeks ago, a few months ago. I don't know. I have no concept of time, but she sent me a TikTok of their black soldier fly larva consuming fruits and vegetables. And I thought it was super cool. So <laughs> of course, I I said yes. Like, look at this. This is so crazy. Like, how? How? It's so awesome. Anyways, let's get to that feeding. I like that it says live insects. Oh, I'm just gonna show like my whole address, I guess. <sighs> Did not think this through. I like that it has live insects and fragile on it because sometimes things get jostled around in the mail and it's nice that this was marked so that it hopefully doesn't. Oh, very nice. And we have two containers here and they are moving. That is a whole, that's so many worms. That's so many. And there's also the rubber band, the containers rubber band, which is also super cool. So that way they don't come undone and leak worms into a box. That is so many worms. They all look super, super healthy. Like they, Sometimes when I get um, black soldier fly larva from other places, sometimes they are very thin. These are super, super healthy and thick, super thick. So just for a size comparison, these are the large, this is the thousand count of large black soldier fly, black soldier fly from Grub Terra. They look like super healthy. Awesome. Okay, let's feed some lizards. So the really cool thing about black soldier fly larvae is that they are super high in calcium, so you don't actually have to dust them, but I am going to dust these in a multivitamin supplement for Zaz. A lot of you guys have been missing her. If you saw on my Instagram, I posted her eating the other day. She is finally out of brumation, so you guys will be seeing a lot more of her. But because she has been in brumation for months now, I am going ahead and adding a multivitamin powder to dust these with just to give her that little extra bit. <laughs> So had to clean that up afterwards, but we are going to put a whole bunch in here to give her that calcium boost and vitamin boost after her brumation and let's see if she'll eat them. And I decided to hand feed her some of these first. I know it looks like her light is flickering. It's actually not. It is my messed up shutter speed on my camera. I did not make sure that the settings were correct before I started this, so that was my bad and I am sorry. But. She took a few from the tweezers first, and then we put her on the bowl and watched her eat those. She thoroughly enjoys black soldier fly larva. Another awesome thing that you can do with these is putting them in salads. A lot of you guys that ask me about getting your bearded dragon to actually eat their salads, putting small bugs like black soldier fly larva into the salad is awesome because they're gonna kind of burrow under the leaves and stuff and make it look to your bearded dragon like your salad is moving. And so they're gonna go after those bugs or after that moving salad. And even if they just are going after the bugs, they're kind of bound to get a mouthful of greens anyway. So these are highly recommended for getting your bearded dragon to actually want to eat their salads. Next, 
next up was me trying my best to get Goliath to eat hers and she just wasn't having it at this point. I even was rubbing it gently against her mouth to try to get her to open up and she didn't want it, which is weird. She was the gecko that would eat bugs and lately she will not eat any of the bugs I offer her. She just wants her Pangea. So that's what we've been going through. I even tried going back later that night to try again to get her to eat because I was like, maybe it's too early, but no, she still does not want it. And I'm not really sure why she's refusing bugs so much lately. For those of you that have watched my videos with Dexter here, you know that he hasn't eaten bugs in probably I mean, maybe a couple years now. Again, no concept of time, but it's been a very long time since he's eaten bugs. So my hopes were not high when I was offering him black soldier fly larva. And very surprisingly, he actually took one, which is still blowing me away. But I guess one was his limit, which is understandable after this much time of never wanting to eat any at all. He just prefers his Pangea, which I was reading the bag and I thought it was super interesting. His Pangea actually contains white soldier fly larva, so maybe that's why he finally decided to eat a bug. I'm not sure. Next up is Percy, and Percy usually eats anything and everything that I put in front of her, but this time she decided against it, and I was trying to figure out why, and then I very quickly realized that she's about to shed. She is very gray and chalky, and yeah, so she looked like she was interested, she poked at it, and then she decided she wasn't going to eat. Off to Cersei. We're obviously not going to get footage of her eating, but these are the mealworms that have been in her tank since the day before. She actually has not really been eating that much in the last couple months. She's just been hiding under her little log, but I know that black soda fall over are her favorite. So I put some in here for her. I came back the next day and this is what I came back to. I guess I scared her while she was eating because she ran back and hid. Sorting through her worms here, it looks like she had eaten at this point all but a about four of them. So this is actually the first time she's eaten in a while. So clearly she was also very appreciative of these black soldier fly larvae. And that just makes me so happy. Another surprising one for me was winter because apparently my animals were just full of surprises this time. Winter has been in brumation for the last couple months as well. But Winter actually was out and about. So I decided to try to feed her some of these and she was very excited and very receptive. I was able to hand feed her all of her serving of black soldier fly larva, which literally never happened. She never lets me hand feed her or tong feed her or whatever. And so this excited me a super lot. She seemed to enjoy them. Yeah, I was happy that I was able to get this footage. And then as I'm editing this video, I was like, oh, I forgot to offer a worm to Morty. I know he won't eat it, but I should be nice and at least offer. And he was not in the mood. He's been kind of moody lately. So he opted out of eating the worm and he decided to just go straight for the fingers. So that's fun. And then for the next probably 20 minutes, he just kept coming up to the bowl like he wanted to eat the worms, but I'm not really convinced that he wanted to eat the worms, but more so that he just wanted to kill something. So yeah, to no one's surprise, he also did not eat the worms. So that is it. Lizards really like black soldier fly larvae. It isn't the easiest for me to get that where I live because no one ever has it except for sometimes at reptile shows, but usually by the time I get there, they're already sold out. So that's fun. So it was really cool to give them that, especially Cersei, even though I didn't get footage of her actually eating it because I never get footage of her eating anything ever. Just wanted to throw this really cool fact about Grub Terra out there. Again, they didn't ask me to say anything specific about them. They just asked for an honest review. And I thought that was really cool. But awesome thing about them, they actually go to like local supermarkets and local restaurants and things like that. And they actually get the fruits and vegetables that they can't use anymore, like whether it's expiring or it's just not up to par with the restaurant or whatever. They actually get that and that's what they feed to their black soldier fly larva. But I thought it was super cool. It's just preventing all that food from just 
going in a trash can and into a landfill and being wasted. I just want to throw that out there because I read that and that blew me away. I thought it was really cool that they do that. But yeah, check out grubterror.com if you're interested in getting black soldier fly larvae delivered to your house for your lizards because they're super healthy. And of course, thank you to Grub Terra for sending me these black soldier fly larvae for my little critters. If you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. Also, if you haven't in a while, we did put new merch in the merch store a little while back. So make sure to check that out below. We have like face masks and fanny packs and stuff. So this week's Instagram shout out goes to Lionel84. Follow me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. This week's subscriber shout out goes to Gabriel Bowling. Thank you so much for commenting on my last video and congratulations on your new ball python. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're just gonna record with me and my little friend here. Hit tilt. If you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Did I say socials? Socials? If you have not already, please feel free. If you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my... Uh. Lying a whole bunch of stuff. Thank you so much, Lionel. You are... Oh, nope. Just forget about the subscriber shout-out, I guess. Okay, this week. So we're gonna cut.